So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a very special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. As you will see right here on screen, we're getting right to it. Last night, finally, after about 4,336 kills, I finally ended up having a Great One Fallow Deer spawn on my Great One grind. I am still in shock that this happened. This happened literally in the middle of the night. I'd already been grinding for, gosh, several hours by the time that this guy actually showed up. And I honestly just can't believe it. I had so many diamonds and just so much was showing up. And I thought, you know, may maybe he will spawn. And then I saw him three, like over 300 meters away from the other side of this sort of inlet here with the water on the coast. And I just saw the size of him and I knew immediately that was a great one. And I didn't even have to pull the binos up to spot him. I knew immediately that I could just tell by how big he was that that was something special. And then pulled the binos up and it's an amazing, absolutely amazing great one fallow deer. I honestly cannot believe it. Uh, my grind has been, you know, it's not extremely long, but decently long compared to a lot of the, the very short grinds we've been seeing. But honestly, every single kill was worth it. And I, yeah, I couldn't be happier. This is literally one of my dream combos. There was two of my favourite racks, are uh, the Irish Elk rack and this rack, the big typical rack. And three of my favourite furs were the Fabled Hooded, the Fabled Silver and the Fabled Painted. Well, here we have a Fabled Hooded, big typical rack, Great One Fallow. So literally one of my favourites that could possibly exist ended up spawning as my first one, which is absolutely insane. Any combo I would have been extremely happy with. I do love them all, but obviously you're going to have personal favourites. But for one of my personal favourites to end up spawning, I can't, I just can't believe it. He looks amazing. But as you will have seen there, I did actually end up watching him leave his drinking zone at one point, And then I followed him to his resting zone. And from there, I ended up finding his feeding zone. Because what I decided that I wanted to do with this great one is actually hunt it. Because a grind really isn't hunting, it is just shooting animals repetitively, hoping that eventually you get a lucky spawn. And it kind of, it, like I said, it's not really hunting. It's not hunting down an animal and tracking it and all the stuff that you would, you know, associate with actually hunting something. So I decided way back when I started this grind that if I could actually get a great one fallow to spawn, that what I was going to do was follow him from a drinking zone to a feeding or resting zone and then to the next zone and just follow him sort of throughout his day. And I actually managed to do that. I managed to find feeding, resting and drinking zones for this guy. So I'm so pleased about that. And it meant that we got to see him in a different lighting, different conditions. It was just so fantastic. So there's going to be a lot of footage of just me observing this guy doing his thing in the environment. As you can see, we have him feeding right now, not very far away from us. And this is something I love to do when I am lucky enough to get a great one because I never take these things for granted. These animals are so incredibly special to me. I work super, super hard to try and get any great ones that I have gotten. And, you know, it, it's such a, a, like, a long process of hoping that one will show up. I mean, I have been grinding pretty much since they released. I did half a day on the first day that they released and then have been doing 12 plus hours every single day of grinding, hoping to get one of these guys to show up. That's how I've managed to get so many kills. I've been killing four to five hundred, sometimes over five hundred a day, depending on the day and, you know, how much time I've had. And I honestly just can't believe it. I had 44 diamonds in those 4,336-ish kills. And two level, what would have been level four diamonds that I didn't realise were actually big enough to be diamonds and I shot them with the 300. So it would have been quite a few diamonds with those extra. But I mean, 44 alone is just a, a massive amount. And then, like I said, it would have been two extra ones if I hadn't messed them up. But I just can't believe it. I It got to the point where I was like, is this guy going to show up? Because like, like I said, we've been seeing a lot of very short 
fallow grey one grinds in the community and obviously this is a new great one so the grinds you're going to see in the beginning are going to be short grinds you know the ones that are going to be posted are going to be from short grinds or initial spawns or whatever people just getting very lucky and getting them very quickly so there wasn't a lot of very long grinds going on and like this isn't an extremely long grind 4,000 plus kills but because there were so many being posted, I was like, gosh, is mine ever going to spawn? So I just couldn't believe it. And I still can't believe it. I've, I'm in complete shock. And he's just so magnificent. I mean, everything about that, to me, is just amazing. I mean, the guard times at the back. The way that the guard times are even palmated. Absolutely amazing. Just such an incredible animal. And so, like I said, I really like to spend my time and get pictures and really have an experience when a great one spawns because I might never see another one again. You never know. It's all down to RNG. You know, when one shows up, if one shows up ever. I do not take for granted that I have gotten very lucky to have one spawn. I have heard of people going, you know, 10, 20,000 plus kills into a great one grind without a single great one. So that's why I say this isn't a particularly long grind. It was longer than a lot of the grinds I've been seeing for Fallow, but it's not a massively long grind at the end of the day. I'm just amazed that one actually finally showed up. I I'm just so happy. So, so, so happy. And uh, getting to see him here in his resting zone in the morning light as the sun was rising. This was one of my favourite moments of this whole experience. And like I said, for me, great ones are an experience. I do not like to see a great one and just shoot it. I like to spend the time with them and actually, you know, like I said, just get to appreciate them. Because I think that trophy animals in this game always look the best when they're actually alive and out in the environment. Because it just gives them just that extra... I don't know, air of majesty when they're actually wandering around and doing their animations and stuff. And just seeing this guy here, led here in this lighting, moving his head around and you see that huge set of antlers. Just, I think this is just incredible. And I was sat there recording this, just in awe of this amazing animal. I think he's just absolutely incredible. And, you know, for me, great ones aren't just, they're not just a number, it's not something like that, it's not just another trophy all of the trophy animals I take in this game are always important to me. And great ones, obviously, are going to be that that level, but just extra because they are so rare. This is my 13th great one ever. And, you know, I still... I was shaking. I Honestly, I was in complete panic when I spotted this guy. I was shaking so hard. I, I took a picture of my uh, screen while I was recording with my phone to send to, to friends and stuff and to put in my Discord and stuff to be like, he spawned just of the, the 10 fabled, uh, no, like the uh, the information up in the corner. I took the picture of that and it's so shaky. It's so blurry because I was barely able to like hold my phone <laughs> properly from shaking because of how excited I was that this guy finally spawned. And he's just amazing. Absolutely incredible. The size of those antlers. I mean, when we first saw the big typical rack, when it was first shown off on the EW stream, it was kind of hard to appreciate just how big it actually is. But when you see it in game, there's nothing like it. It, it completely is so much bigger than a diamond. It's nuts. It is absolutely incredible. My favourite bit about it, like I've said, is the guard time at the back. The way that it's actually palmated looks so, so cool. That is just a huge trophy fallow and it's amazing. And here you can actually see, I followed him from his rest zone where he was resting, followed him along this road to his feeding zone. And here I got to have one of my, I think one of my favourite Great One encounters I've ever had. Because just the way that the morning light was actually sort of rising around... And he was out here with the skyline behind him. I managed to get some really, really, I would say, pictures that I'm very happy with. Like, I, they might be my favourite Great One pictures ever. Just because they have, to me, such a an air of majesty, like I said before. They, to me, encapsulate the whole Great One and how special they are. I mean, even here, I knew that I was probably going to be able to get some good pictures. Just seeing, like, the silhouette. 
oh, I, I was just so stoked about this. And I'm so pleased that I managed to get some pictures I'm really happy with. And then he stands up and I knew like these were going to turn out pretty good if I could get them right. And that's what I'm always looking for. I always want to take good pictures of these guys because I use them as my like my laptop background and stuff for like uh, any screensavers and stuff just because it's like a reminder like these things are possible they can happen and if if i'm on a very very long grind like for example my moose great one grind my first moose great one looking at those pictures it helps me to to carry on like even if the grind is getting really tough or really long it's like inspiration to me to carry on and it's memories of a of a moment like this to me is memories of an incredible moment my first ever great one fallow deer and i got to have this kind of encounter i mean to me this is just the most stunning scene how you know you don't see this every day just a massive great one fallow feeding in the morning light silhouetted against the sky how majestic like you can't get much more majestic than this i have taken pictures like this in real life of real deer and th this is what it reminded me of like taking these pictures right here was like when i've taken pictures of like roe deer and fallow deer like this in real life in the early morning light on those early morning walks in the mist with the lighting behind them and you get these amazing silhouettes and it just for me captured what i really wanted to capture which is that air of and i'm gonna say it again air of majesty of of a great one these are such incredible special animals and this is such an incredible and special moment for me personally so i honestly i couldn't be happier and i know i've rambled throughout this video i always do when it comes to great one videos i talk a lot and i ramble but you know even though this happened now last night and i had to then go to bed because i'd been awake for a very long time by the time i had finished recording everything and you know even by the time this guy had showed up i'd been awake for quite a while grinding fallow and then i spent you know a couple hours getting this footage and taking the pictures and all of this and then yeah so i ended up having to go to bed but even now i'm still like on the high from it i'm still completely pumped and I'm definitely wanting to go for a, a second and maybe even a third Great One Fallow at some point. I am going to continue grinding. I am going to do other stuff along the way though. So if you're wanting you know, to see other content here on the channel, I am going to do some Emerald Coast hunts and all of that good stuff as well now. Now I've got the first one, I'm a bit more relaxed about it. Getting the first of a Great One species for me is always the biggest challenge. After that, I feel a lot more relaxed about it. So now I've got my first fallow deer great one. I will, like I said, I'll do some other stuff as well, but I am going to maybe do like half a night's worth of grinding every day or something like that. Not the 12 hours every day necessarily, but just keep working at trying to get a couple more of these guys because they are just fantastic. And I would really love to get the Irish elk rack. But finally, it, it came the time that it was time to take him. And we're going to take him right here with the 4570 now he drops on the spot which is exactly what i wanted there's been a lot of people having game crashes myself included especially here on tay so i wanted something that was going to drop this guy on the spot just so that you know he's not running off i'm not having to track him there's no risk of me accidentally picking up a, a warning or a fleeing call which that seems to be what's causing the crashes at least for me it's been when i've picked up a warning or fleeing call especially from rabbits weirdly but i didn't want any risk of that so i just wanted to drop him as quickly as possible take a quick look at him on the ground which he's just stunning i mean that is a gorgeous animal and then pick him up as quickly as possible unfortunately no music for the fallow deer great one but just an incredible buck an absolutely incredible buck and that is actually the first time i've used a lever action on a great one which is something i've slowly been trying to do is use different types of weapons you know i've, I've used a rifle i've used a handgun i've used a bow i've used a shotgun but also like within those categories you know that's why i took my last great one moose with the recurve so i've now used a traditional bow and you know this time i wanted to use something that was a lever action because that's something i'd never used and the 4570 i knew should drop this guy on the spot being a class four to nine rifle so 
it all worked out pretty perfectly for this weapon being my weapon of choice for this guy. And I couldn't be happier. I mean, what an amazing great one. That is, to me, just... He's just magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I'm so excited about getting this guy. I cannot... I hope it's coming across. Because I cannot perfectly convey how much this means to me, I don't think. It means the absolute world. I was, like, practically crying just from sheer joy when one actually finally spawned. And, you know, that may sound silly to some people... But for me, this is something I work incredibly hard for. And like I said, I do not take it for granted when one of these spawns. I know that it's RNG. And like I said, I've heard plenty of people that have done incredibly long grinds and never had one show up. So I count every great one as being a very, very lucky thing. And that's why they mean so, so much to me. And that's why I get so excited and emotional and all of those things about getting something like this this game means a lot to me the trophies mean a lot to me and great ones kind of encapsulate all of that there are a lot of hard work if you end up grinding for them and you know for me that's a it's a huge personal achievement and this is something that really means a lot to me and with this guy i now have every great one in the game again so I'm going to, like I said, probably grind for another two Great One Fallow because I really would love a huddle mount of Great One Fallow just because of all the different furs, they have the different racks. And I mean, like I said, I love them all. I would really love to get an Irish Elk rack, but even if I got the same rack again or the same fur again or, you know, maybe the Sawblade rack, which isn't necessarily my favourite, but I still love it, I'll be super happy. So I'd, I'd love to get a couple more for that multi mount so we'll see how that goes but there's you know i'd like to go back to grinding for another great one black bear as well and that's something that at some point i'm gonna do um again for the multi mount i love doing the multi mounts and i'd love to have a great one black bear multi mount but the fallow deer uh, they've kind of got my heart at the minute i think especially after this last night he was just everything i could ever imagined it would be and more he's just such an incredible buck i i I'm absolutely so incredibly stoked. And like I said, when you see one in game, there, there's nothing like it. Like I said, I, he was over 300 metres away and I knew just from the sheer size of him that it was a great one. I didn't have to pull the binos up, just the speck of him over there. I knew it was something different. I didn't think it was a diamond. Immediately I thought it was a great one. The fur, the antlers, everything about it. Just an amazing buck. Now, something that's quite interesting, taking a look at his true score here as we'll go through it, is that you'll notice that he's not actually perfectly even, which I thought when I was actually following him around that one antler was like slightly taller than the other. So when I actually got to take a look at his true score, I was very intrigued and actually kind of pleased that that was a thing because it's cool to me when they've got a bit of character and they're not quite perfectly even. So that added to the whole thing and how cool this guy is in, in my mind. And yeah, I I was super, super stoked. Just everything about this for me went exactly how, like I said, how I hoped it would have gone, but better. It just, everything went absolutely so, so well. I'm so incredibly grateful. Incredibly, incredibly grateful. And like I said, I'm sorry for rambling throughout this video. But, like I said, these things mean so much to me, so I'm gonna get excited about them. And I think, you know, why grind for them and why look for them, why hunt for them if you're not gonna get excited about them, right? That this is the time to be excited about them. And, yeah, for me, this is an amazing trophy and we're gonna take him straight to the trophy lodge. Now, this is my ultimate lodge that I've been working on. You'll see, like, my other great ones and stuff in here. And this is basically my lodge of all my favourite trophies. And you'll notice there's a lot of, like, empty space and stuff. That's because I'm still working on putting it back together and putting all my favourite trophies into one lodge. But I'm going to put this guy here. And he's in between my last Great One Moose and my Great One Black Bear. And I think this is probably where the Great One Fallow Deer multi-mount will probably go if I manage to complete it. So, yeah. Just, wow. What an amazing, amazing buck. He is so beautiful i love the fur the different tones going throughout the fur and the white chest and the thick neck and the fur i just it looks so beautiful they did such a fantastic job 
with these great one fallow i think making them so much beefier and so much more muscly than a normal fallow i think is absolutely amazing to me this is like a big proper master buck so i'm super super happy like i said i'm over the moon absolutely over the moon and i cannot wait to get to share this i've been waiting since last night to finally get the opportunity to record this and yeah i cannot wait to actually share it with you all this is oh i'm so happy (laughs) i'm so so happy i absolutely love him i think he's amazing and i couldn't have asked for anything more i really couldn't everything like i said it was everything i ever hoped it would be and so much more I think this is one of my favourite trophies ever. And I say that probably about all my great ones, but they all mean so much to me. So yeah, I'm so, 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 so happy about this. But that is going to be it for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed it. As you can probably tell from the amount of rambling I've done throughout this video, it's a pretty special one for me. So yeah, I, I, I just can't wait to share it. And yeah, I'm super, super excited. <laughs> But that is going to be it. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support. As always, you guys are amazing. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.